Today we're playing Showboat. Showboat is a game with the Island deck, which is a six-suited deck. Uh, and Showboat is kind of the reason that this deck exists, actually. I made a more complicated version of the same game with a specifically unique deck, uh, and I realized that it was almost perfectly mapped onto this six-suited deck. And I just said, well, we can make other games with this deck, too. And that's where the Island deck came from. But Showboat was its original game, and I'm going to show you how to play. Well, the Island deck is sort of a basic style deck, uh, meaning that it has numbers and face cards like you're familiar with, but this particular one has six suits. So it's got ace through seven in six different suits. These are all island themed suits like anchors and crabs and flowers. And above the seven, we have two face cards, the queen and the king. They don't actually have a ranking in this particular game, but in most games, you know, they're just like a regular card deck. Aces are low in this game because they act like number ones. Showboat is played with three to six players. I've got four players here today. I've got George Washington, represented by this 25 cent piece, uh, an orange safety cone, and a plastic chip with the word over on both sides. I deal four cards to every player, but I also deal out enough cards as if there were six players. That makes sure that the stub is the right size. So I'm gonna deal out eight more cards and throw those away. My goal for the hand is to score points I build a tableau out of the cards that I play. It stays in the order that I played them. And I want those cards to be in ascending order. Uh, and I also want to, I, I can double the last card if I pick the right time to retire. And we'll see all of that as we go. Every round I put up six cards from the deck. And play a simultaneous. Everyone picks a card from their hand and plays it face down on the table. Then we're gonna turn those up and we're gonna fire them off in ascending order by rank and by suit. Okay, everyone's made their face down play. We're gonna turn them up. We're gonna see who played what. This card is the first card in my tableau. I'm building four, maybe five cards in this tableau. This card also tells me what order I get to go when I pick up another card from the center. So I'm gonna pick up, uh, the first card is the ace. The ace is gonna pick up the card from the center that does him the most good, and it's gonna be this king. Uh, next is the deuce. What does the deuce wanna pick up? Uh, definitely the four. Next is the five. The five would like something that's gone now. So the over button is just gonna pick up this ace. And the queen is last among these cards, and the orange cone is going to pick up this three. The last two cards in the center get thrown away, and we're gonna deal out six more. Now, the face cards, the king and the queen, are very slow, they're the last to act, but here's an important thing. They don't care where they are in the number sequence. We don't think of them as numbers, they're just a five point card that can fall anywhere. So, orange cone can still follow the queen with any card and be legal, and that's why they have value, even though uh, the cone didn't get to maybe pick up the card that they wanted. They definitely got to, uh, to play whatever they want on the next card. So, second round, we're going to do the same thing. Let's turn these cards up and see what everyone played. Remember to keep the cards you play in the order that you play them, because this tableau is telling a story. Uh, I've got, uh, Orange Cone is facing me, because otherwise I'll get too confused. But the next card on their deck is the Three of Boats. Uh, the three of boats is faster than the three of trees, so we go by suit, just alphabetical order. A is for anchors, B is for boats, C is for crab, and all up the, up the line. So the three of boats is going to pick up the first card out of the middle, and that card is going to be this four. That's a plan coming together is what that is. The next card is my three, the three of trees. What looks good to me is, boy, there's not a lot of good choices. I'll pick up this king. Uh, the next card is the Four of Anchors. This player, they're pretty much already doing good. They're going to pick up this deuce, which we'll explain later. But the cards you have left in your hand cost against you at the end, unless they're paired off. So if we had to end right now, this is minus five, this is minus six, but this pair of twos goes away, turns into zero. And now the last card in this sequence is the Queen of Flowers. Uh, the over button played that because there weren't a lot of other good choices in their hand, and they're going to pick up another queen. 
We throw away these cards, we put out another set, and we go again. Now instead of picking up a card when the action comes to you, your other option is to retire. You can say, I'm done, I, nothing I can do is going to make me any more points, so I'm going to stop. And everyone has to retire at some point. The, the second to last person, when they retire, they force the last person to just stop playing. They might not even get their turn. So you don't want to be the last person uh, out of the game. Let's see, what are we going to play on this round? Obviously I had this plan. This. When you play a card, you're playing for speed in terms of I want to pick up a card from the middle. You're also playing for sequence uh, and you're also playing for points. This time I'm going first with my four. Then there's the five of crabs. There's two queens, a dolphin and an anchor. So the anchor queen is going to go third and the dolphin queen is going to go last. I'm looking at my hand and I'm trying to figure out what I want to pick up. I want to play cards in ascending order, so I probably want to pick up one of these fives. Although a king is also worth five points um, and might benefit somebody else more than a king. I'll pick up one of the fives. When you're choosing between several cards of the same rank, you just always pick up the fastest one. So I'm going to pick up the five of anchors because it's strictly better than the other fives. That's my pickup. Next player in sequence is the five of crabs. What does George Washington want? Well, he wants to play the six next. So he is mostly caring about how his hand is going to look at the end of the game. He's going to pick up this king because that can be played out of sequence. All these cards are worth roughly the same amount of points if they have to go negative. But the king can go in any sequence in this order. So that's a good card there. Uh, the queen of anchors. What does the orange cone want to pick up? Their next play is probably this six. We're getting close to the end. But they could play a five and then a six. So they're going to pick up the five of boats. And the queen of dolphins. What does this player want? They have a seven for their last card. But they could... Uh, well, they can't play a five. They already have a five. If they play another five, it's worth nothing. They'd love to play a six and then a seven, but they can't do that. So they're going to pick up this three to cancel out the other three in their hand, and they're planning to play the seven on the next round. That's that. After this, there's only going to be one more round. Sometimes people retire on this penultimate round. Sometimes enough people play beyond the last round that we have another round with no cards in the center. It's strange, but it does happen. All right, what was my plan? My plan was to play this five next. Do I care how quickly I pick something up from the center? Not really, so I'm going to play that five. Um, two, four, five, six, that was the plan here. This player can play anything they want here. They can play a five and then a six, or they could play a six and then a seven, but they'd have to pick that seven up. Let's be safe and play the five. These are all going down face down. I'm just saving me some time and uh, this, the seven is going to go down because that's the only scoring card that the over button can play. All right, these cards are revealed. Which one goes first? As I said, the five of anchors. It's faster than the five of boats and the other ones are six and seven. So I get to pick first. What am I going to pick up? I'm not sure what I'm going to play on the next round except one of the kings or I can retire. I'm going to retire. I'm going to pick up nothing. When I do that, I turn my last card sideways, and that means it's worth double points. I like my hand because the kings cancel out and the ace is only worth one negative point, so I think this might be a good time for me to stop. I don't want to pick anything up because it's just going to hurt me, and I don't want to play a card on the next round. Okay, so I retire. Now, sometimes that causes a cascade failure. Everyone looks around and says, oh, if everyone's retiring, I have to retire too. The five of boats needs to fix their hand, though. So, so they're going to pick up this... Deuce. They, they'd love to cancel out their four. They're going to cancel out their two because that's available. They're planning to play that six on the next round. The six of dolphins is going to say, I really want to play that king on the next round. I have to pick up something though. So I'm going to pick up this ace just knowing that I'm going to eat it. And now the seven of crabs is going to... This player could pick up another three and cancel these, but these are already canceled. So this player is also just going to retire. There, double that seven. That's not a bad score. All right, that's two players retired, two players still in. We're going to put out the last set of six cards. And only George Washington and the Orange Cone are still playing. George's plan was to play this king. Cone's plan was to play this six. And this is a speed contest because at the last round, you want to retire quickly. This king is a safe play, but it's a very slow play. Uh, and what that means is Orange Cone, uh, pretty good hand is going to retire. 
So turn that six. And George is out. George Washington doesn't, doesn't even get a turn. Can't play or pick up a card even if they want to. And that means their last card isn't doubled. It's just worth a regular amount of points. Uh, now, let's look at the scoring and see how all of this actually weighs up. My hand, I may have retired a little soon, but my hand is ace, three, four, and a doubled five. And some cards in my hand that I have to eat. The kings are doubled up, so they're worth zero. And I can cancel this ace against the ace that I have. So plus one, minus one. Those are going away. This is a 10. The double five is a 10. So that's 17 points for me. Let's take a look at the over button. They have some canceled threes in their hand and an ace they're going to have to eat. But this is 14 points. The face cards are all worth five. So that's another 15. So the total here, uh, 14 and 15 is 29. Minus one is 28 for the over. The orange cone has a four they have to eat and two twos they can throw away. Their onboard score is 5, 10, 15, 18, and a doubled 6 makes 30, minus 4 is 26. And George Washington, how did you do? You've got a pair of 2s you can throw away, you've got an ace that you have to eat, and your final score is 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, minus 1 is 21 points for George Washington. And that's how you play Showboat. Uh, the game gets its name from what's considered a perfect hand, which is basically five, six, seven, and two face cards in any order. That's uh, the maximum score you can make in a, in a regular game, unless people let you go one more round, unless people stick around with you for one more round. Um, if we had gone one more round, if, if, people, if two people had not retired uh, after that last round, we'd throw the cards away, we'd deal out nothing, we still play cards for precedence, and then whoever is faster gets to retire and the other person just gets locked out. Uh, that's the game. I, you can play either for a single round or you can keep score over several rounds. It uh, plays from three to six players, and it's one of many games you can play with the island deck, a nice standard deck of cards with six suits, nine cards in each suit at Crab Fragment Labs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for learning Showboat with us today. I'm James Ernest, and I will see you at the table. <music>